This short video tutorial is about how to use StatCounter to do simple daily content audits on your website. And this came up in Online Content Marketing in 30 Minutes by author Derek Slater. He talks a lot about uh, using analytics software, especially Google Analytics, uh, to evaluate your website, see what's working and see what's not working. But what the reason why we're going to be doing StatCounter here is because it's really a much easier site to use. It's very basic and it makes the information uh, readily available to you. You don't have to do too much clicking around to get what you want. So this is assuming that you have StatCounter, you have it installed on your website, and by the way, I there's a separate video on in30minutes.com that explains how to install StatCounter on a website. And now we're looking at the sites that we operate, and we want to evaluate how people are using them. And StatCounter has a, pr a couple of neat features. Uh, let's go to Dropbox in 30 minutes. This is an official book website for Dropbox in 30 minutes. And basically, when you click on it, it shows you how people have used the website over the past uh, week or so. You can also change the view. Um, you can see there was a spike of activity here, uh, page loads versus unique visits. This unique visits basically tells you the number of people who are looking at the site on a given day and how many pages were, were loaded. But what I like to look at a lot is recent visitor activity. And the reason, and this is something you cannot find on Google Analytics, or you can only find a simplified version. But basically, um, what recent visitor activity shows is a reverse chronological order of who's come to your site and how they've gotten there and how they're using the website. So I can just see uh, for, the, for today, uh, this is today's March 29th, there's been five unique visits, uh, including myself. Uh, but these are the other people that have come to the site. It doesn't identify them by name, of course, but it shows the UO, it shows the domain that they're coming from, like Yahoo. Uh, someone's using Sky Broad, Broadband in England. There's a Danish user here, and then someone from Wisconsin. It also shows the pages that they're looking at, and it quickly shows you how they got there. So this particular user from Denmark, they're using the Danish Google service. They typed this into into the uh, into Google in Denmark, and um, my my website was number nine, so that's good to know. Thank you, De thank you, Denmark. This one, on the other hand, shows that someone came to the website in Wisconsin uh, by visiting itworld.com, and that's a site that we were doing a promotion with, and uh, we had a link on the promoting. And when you get a big surge of traffic, this can be fun to look at because you can see, oh, uh, who's sending me a lot of traffic today? But also, it helps inform you the types of users that are coming to your website. You can also just see like the most popular pages. And that's another important step in the, con in the uh, content audit. So for the log that we have for Dropbox in 30 minutes, um, 71 visitors out of the total log size, um, they visited the front page. And then it shows uh, you know, decreasing numbers of people to other pages. But it shows you what pages are most popular, which can be really helpful in determining what other types of content you should be writing and also what types of content that maybe is not so useful. Well, I only had one, for instance, I only had one visitor to... Um, you know, I'm working on a on a manuscript. Should I save it in Should I save it in Dropbox? Well, I'm not going to be writing another blog post like that because no one really seems to like it. And then, lastly, another important activity you should be doing if you're running some sort of online business or online content site is to see how people are leaving. And the thing that I like to look at is exit link, exit links, and exit link activity. Exit link activity basically shows a reverse chronological list of how people are leaving the site recently. And uh, this can be really useful for determining if you're actually able to get people to go to a sales page or some other thing that you want them to do. And I'll just briefly explain what people are, what people are clicking off on. So this shows the exit link that people have clicked. Um, these links up here, the gum.co, this is actually people who are clicking on the links to download um, the PDF or other forms of the of the uh, product, Dropbox in 30 minutes uh, uh, ebook or book. Um, some people are clicking on the master website in 30minutes.com. Some people are going to Kobo or to Barnes & Noble or to Amazon to order copies of the book. This actually doesn't show me if they complete the order, but it does show me if they've clicked off on that link, which is very, very useful. Some people, because I have some helpful blogs explaining how to use Dropbox, they're clicking off on the links that show how to get more space, etc. So that's showing a reverse chronological view, and then you can also just show, they'll show a similar view to what we were looking at for popular pages, where it, it ranks them by uh, how many people are clicking on them. 
So 62 clicks on eJunkie. This is another site that I was using to, for, to sell the PDF. Uh, 56 links on the Amazon site. That's not bad. And then what you can do if you want to actually see how many people actually ended up buying things, you just compare that. You compare these numbers to the numbers of copies that actually sold via those sources in a certain period of time, and you get your conversion rate. So that's a very basic in, uh, introduction of how to use StatCounter. But these are actually the tools that I use on StatCounter the most. Um, it's fun to see how your traffic is doing because it's updated in real time. And for more information, uh, I urge you to read Derek Slater's book, Online Content Marketing in 30 Minutes. You can get it via in30minutes.com. There's also more videos about how to use StatCounter and Google Analytics, and those are free. And I check it out on in30minutes.com. Thanks for watching.